Let's bring no. in Justin Forsett, Baltimore Ravens running back, joins us here on the show. I'll ask you that question, Justin. You agree with the suspension? Uh, yeah. I think we're having a couple oh. of problems. You want to try to get Justin? Do we, you still there, Justin? Can you hear me? I got you there. I didn't hear your answer to that question. Yeah, honestly, the uh, the footage uh, to give a good, clear answer, but, uh, you know, that's way above my pay grade anyway. Do you think reputation comes into it when the NFL issues that type of suspension? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it does, definitely. If he had stepped on your leg, what would your reaction have been? The same as uh, get off of me. Let's try to get him. Um, let's try to get Justin on a different phone line. We can't uh, hear him pretty well. He's got some. If you stepped on me, Mannix, my reaction would not be a simple "get off of me." I'm just saying. Well, I'm a little different than Adamic and Sue. Uh, I'm not 300 pounds, and true. I think that if you're Aaron Rodgers and you're going up, uh, you're six feet tall, six one, going up against a 300 pound defensive lineman, I don't think you're rushing to get into a fight with him. Although I love sports fights because sports fights aren't real. You know, you know that at some point a referee is going to step in, and in the NFL. You're wearing helmets. You're wearing pads. You're in the mix with uh, with all these different uh, all these different uh, ways to prevent anything really bad from happening to you. Hockey included. Hockey's a little bit different. Hockey, you drop your gloves. You you have to go head to head. No helmets. I was so that's gonna say it looks pretty but there also real. there also is a shelf life in a hockey fight. You know, you go into a hockey fight, you can defuse it simply by grabbing a jersey and dragging a guy down to the ice. It's a little bit different there too. So there are ways to elude. That type of fight. Baseball is kind of the same way. You see those baseball brawls. Like the bullpen's empty. Nobody's actually throwing punches in these True. circumstances. Rock They're just out there to be Kicking there. up dust. You see somebody grab jerseys. Because I think the fear of God's in a lot of these players now. Because they know, at least in the NBA, if they throw a punch, that's three or four games. You're done. And that's going to cost you a significant amount of money. Um, yeah, 75% of the audience is saying that they do think it was pretty much fair. And they agree with the suspension. Does that surprise you? Uh... Yeah, it does surprise me because I didn't think it was fair. I think that that type of penalty deserved a fine and not a suspension. It's mostly because I hate seeing a player like Nadamik and Sue miss a playoff game where he's going to be instrumental in stopping DeMarco Murray, their Cowboys' best running back. Do we have Justin back? Justin, are you there again? Yes, can you hear me? Ah, perfect. Appreciate that. Hey, let me ask you this, Justin. More intense as a player, a win or go home regular season game or a first round playoff game? Playoffs. How intense was that game you played last week, though? Uh, it was pretty intense, but uh, when you're in the playoffs, man, uh, it's a special time, man. I've been playing for seven years and, you know, only been there twice. And uh, so anytime you get there, you get a chance to get to that, to that, uh, the big dance in the Super Bowl. I mean, it's a lot on the line, so it's intense. As a player, does it hurt worse to miss the playoffs or to make it and get beat maybe in the first round? Oh, man. I don't. I I haven't uh, lost in the first round, so I don't know how that feels. But I know that you know watching everybody else play, you know while you're at home and everybody's going to the playoffs. Uh, everybody else is going to the playoffs. That's a pretty pretty sad feeling. Yeah, I think the sting for me would be losing in that first round. To put everything into it to get to the postseason and then to get beat in the first round. To me, that would hurt even worse than not getting into the playoffs at all. No, yeah, I, I feel that. Uh, you know, like I said, when you get a chance to go to the playoffs, get a chance to, you know, have an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. I mean, you put a lot of work into it. It's and it's. Uh, I'm sure it hurt a lot to to lose in that first round. Talking to Justin Forsett, Baltimore Ravens running back here on the Dan Patrick Show. You stand about five foot eight, Justin. How many times have you heard that you were too short to do something? Well, I'm five eight, five nine, depending on if I see my chiropractor <laughs> or not. So that fluctuates. <laughs> you can you can add an inch. Yeah, I can add an inch. Uh, but I, I hear it a lot. I mean, it's it's something that, you know, is not going to change, uh, unfortunately, but uh, uh, I'm okay with it. Is there something that a coach said to you or somebody said to you back in the day that sticks with you even now that maybe you use as something of motivation? Um, I don't know if there's anything in particular. You know, I've, I mean, I've been told what I can't do my whole life, so... You know, just, you know, I think that that adds fuel to the fire. You know, I think I, when I go out and play, I play for something bigger than, you know, my critics and, you know, all the people that have something negative to say about me. So uh, I'm just blessed for the opportunity. And, uh, 
you know, I think that when I go out on the play on the football field, I give them a haul and I play like it's my last. So all the other stuff is just noise. Do you remember a coach telling you, hey, man, sorry, you, you just can't do this. You're not going to make it. <laughs> uh, not not in those words, but, you know, they won't, not directly telling me that, but just saying, uh, okay, you're just going to do these things. You know, we're going to let somebody else do uh, the heavy work or, you know, put me off to the side or, you know, not allow me to go in on certain type of plays. So it was kind of indir- indirectly. Justin, eight touchdowns, over 1,200 yards, 5.4 yards of carry. You saved a lot of fantasy football teams this season. I play fantasy football and love it. What clicked in Baltimore? Say that again? What clicked? What got the run game going? Oh, man. I mean, we have a, a great offensive line here. Um, you know, uh, probably the, the best that I've ever been around. And just, you know, receivers blocking downfield, opening up lanes for me. You know, it's, it's been a team effort for us. And, uh, uh, the run game's been working well for us this year. On Sunday, you've been so successful for people who took, picked you up in their fantasy football leagues. What did your mentions look like on Twitter? Were you overwhelmed? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty intense. Uh, you know, not playing that lot, playing a lot throughout my career. Uh, it was pretty uh, fun to see uh, guys uh, tweet me about their fantasy football and you know asking me if I was all right, if I got hurt, and things like that. So. That was that was different. I'm sure you got lots of uh, hate from people who were facing you in their respective matchups week to week as well. Looking forward to the playoffs. What team do you not want to face? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm in the playoffs, and uh, everyone has a faceless opponent, and uh, I'm just ready to get the job done. Talking to Justin Forsett, Baltimore Ravens running back here on the Dan Patrick Show. Justin, Le'Veon Bell took a pretty nasty shot the other night in the leg. May have to miss this upcoming playoff game. We don't know what's the injury status with him. The NFL, it seems like, is forcing defenders to avoid those big headshots. Are you seeing it with the way you're tackled this season? Um, well, for, for me, it's kind of it's kind of hard to hit my leg since I'm so short. So most people hit me up high. So I really don't have to have to worry about that. But for other guys, I'm sure that's the case. As a player, would you rather get hit high or hit, hit low? Oh, man. I would not get hit at all, but uh, <laughs> I would say, you know, pr- probably probably high, you know, because I feel like, you know, I'm elusive enough to, to make some people miss up top. Justin, you've taken on the Steelers now twice this season. There's a lot of hype about this rivalry. Do you think that the media and fans make a bigger deal of it than it really is? No, man, this is a, this is a, it's a big game. It's a big rivalry for us. Uh, it's intense. You know, this is my first year involved in it, but uh, just seeing the fans coming out in the atmosphere, uh, I can only imagine what it's going to be like on Saturday night. A career-high 235 attempts for you this season. How much do you have left in the tank for this playoff run? i got a lot left, man. Um, you know, I've been waiting my whole uh, career for this opportunity, and I'm not going to let any soreness or uh, any aches or anything like that get in my way, man. I'm, ex- I'm so excited and ready to seize the moment. we get you out of here with this, Justin. This has obviously been... A dramatic season in some ways in Baltimore, the Ray Rice situation at the start of the year to to this point right now. Has it been more challenging than other years for you to see how this team's come along and, and overcome what they've overcome? Uh, no, man. Uh, they, play, they pay us to go out and play football games, and I think that we had great leadership on this team where we didn't focus on you know the distractions or anything like that. We just focused on trying to win football games, and uh, that's what our mindset was since day one, and uh, we've been able to to go out and accomplish that. Was there a point during the season that you knew all of this was behind you? Did it take a certain amount of games to kind of shove all that stuff back? It was actually, you know, pretty fast because, you know, I think that after everything went down and we played uh, Pittsburgh, we went out there and uh, we put on a great performance. And I knew right then that we had the right mindset and uh, things were kind of behind us, you know, even though we had some emotions attached. But, you know, we were, one, uh, we were focused and uh, single-minded in that aspect. Good to visit with you, Justin. Appreciate the time, and uh, best of luck this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. That's Good Justin luck. Forsett. You don't really mean that because you don't want them to win so they don't have to take on the Patriots. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. I see through you, Mannix. Yeah, I don't want them. I don't want Baltimore coming to New England.